Creating your first NPM package may seem incredibly intimidating, but it's actually surprisingly easy. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Now to get started, on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see that I have two folders, one called package and one called test folder. This package folder is where we're gonna be putting all the code for our NPM package we're gonna create, and the test folder is just gonna be for testing it out locally. And that's an important thing to do. Anytime you create an NPM package, you should probably test it locally before you publish it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna CD into that package folder. That way we're inside the package folder. And on the right-hand side here, I've created a brand new Git repository. And I'm gonna copy all of the code inside of here by clicking this copy button, pasting it down, and it's just going to initialize a Git repository for us. And it's gonna create a very basic readme. So inside this package, you can see we have a readme. If I refresh the page over here, you can see we have that readme. The reason I'm doing that before initializing my package is because that way, when we initialize our package JSON, it's gonna have all of our GitHub information linked inside of it. So now the next step is going to be to create that package JSON. So normally you would type in npm init-y and that'll give you all the default values. But in our case, we actually wanna specify all the values ourselves. That way we can have the most information inside of our package JSON. And the package JSON is essentially just a way to describe what your package does. So it's really important to put as much information in here as possible. So as you can see, we're gonna give this a package name. In our case, we're gonna be creating a package called iswds, and this package is just gonna return true or false depending on if we pass it a string of wds. The version will start out at 1.0. For a description, is the string wds. Doesn't really matter what we put for this. Our entry point, we'll just say index.js, that's fine. We'll create that file in a little bit. We don't have a test command, so we're gonna leave that blank. Our Git repository, as you can see, has already been picked up automatically, so we'll leave that in there. And for keywords, we'll just put WDS in here as our only keyword. Author will be web dev simplified. And for license, we'll just leave that blank and yes. So now if we go into our package JSON, you can see all of that information we've specified is inside of here, which is exactly what we want. Now the important thing is that our main file here is index.js. So we're gonna create a file called index.js and inside here is where all of our code is gonna go. So the only thing we're gonna have inside of here is a single function called is wds. It's gonna take in a string and we're just gonna return the string equal to the text wds. If it's equal to that, it's gonna return true, otherwise false. And then this is gonna be a node module. So we'll just say module.exports equals and we're gonna export that is wds function. Super straightforward, all it does is create one single function. And now you may be thinking, okay, we wrote all the code for our package. Hopefully yours is a little bit more intense than this. Now you're ready to publish the package. But actually what you first need to do is actually link the package so you can test it locally. And the easiest way to do that is just type in the command npm link. If you do this, what's going to happen is npm is going to essentially say, okay, this thing in this package folder, we're going to create a link for this thing. That way, when you try to install it somewhere else, it's going to install from this location. So that's where our test folder comes in. We're just gonna create a simple script.js file inside of here. And in the script file, we're gonna require that is WDS package. And we're just gonna say const is WDS is equal to that. And then we're gonna return console.log is WDS. And we're gonna put in the string WDS. So this should console log true. But how do we actually install this package is WDS? Cause we haven't deployed it yet. All we've done is link it. So what we can do is navigate into that test folder and what we can just type in is npm link again and we just type in the name of our package is WDS. Hit enter and that's going to actually locally install our package. If we look at our node modules, you can see we have is WDS and inside there is the package that we already linked. So as you can see, it installed that package locally for us. And now if we run this script.js by just saying node script.js, you can see it returns true because is WDS is true. If we put in some random garbage in here, and run this script, you're gonna see it returns false. So now we have successfully tested our code, we've written our code, it's finally time to publish. So let's go back into that package folder where our package exists and we can type in npm publish, but you're gonna notice when we do this, we're gonna get an error. Just give it a second, you can see we have an error and essentially the problem is that we aren't actually logged in at all. So what we need to do is log in. You can type in npm login and you need to have an NPM account to do this. So make sure you go to NPM and create an account. But once you do, you can type in NPM login, type in your username, which in my case is web dev simplified. And then you can type in your password as well. And once you do that, you can also type in your email and this is public. So just make sure that you know that, but I'm just gonna type in my email here, simplified.com. 
And now you can see that we are logged in as Web Dev Simplified. So now if I try npm publish, hopefully this time we don't get any errors. So we just run that command and you'll notice we're still getting an error. So let's see exactly what that error is. You can see that it's saying we have a 403, essentially saying that we're forbidden to make this package. And the reason for this is that you need to make sure you verify your email after you create your account. So I've gone ahead and I've verified my email. So now if I run npm publish, it should work this time. So we're running npm publish. And as you can see, it's doing all the loading. So this actually looks like it's working and it's getting ready to publish my package. And it looks like it just finished publishing the package. Now, if we go on over to npm and we just search for is WDS, we should be able to see our package right here. We can click on it. And as you can see, we can view our package as our homepage, which links to our GitHub, same with the repository and so on. So now we have our package officially published and we can install this package just like you would install a normal package with npm IWDS. Now, sometimes when you want to actually create a package, the name is already going to be taken. For example, you couldn't create a package called is WDS because I've already created that. But the way you can get around this with NPM is by using a namespaced or scoped package. This is something that Babel, for example, does. As you can see, everything is prefixed with at Babel, at Babel. So they can call their package at Babel slash core. And even though core is used other places, it's okay because it's within that Babel prefix. If you want to do this, all you need to do inside of your package JSON is just make sure you prefix the name of your package with your username. So we could say at web dev simplified slash is WDS, and that's going to create a namespaced package. So now when we go to publish this, you're going to see that it is able to publish this package. You'll notice we get an error. It's saying that you must sign up for private packages. The reason for this is because by default, when you have a namespaced package like this, it tries to make it a private package instead of a public package that everyone can access. So instead, when you publish this, you need to make sure you specifically say that the access is equal to public. Now, as you can see, that was successful and there were no errors. So now what we can do is we can say is WDS and we have both the normal version as well as this namespaced version, which we could call whatever we want. And an important thing to note is if you want to make your package scoped by default when you initialize it, just use npm init dash dash scope and set the scope equal to, you know, web dev simplified. And that's going to create a scoped package JSON for you, which is going to give the name this at in front of it. And that's all it takes to create your very own NPM package. If you enjoyed this, then you're definitely going to love this video where I talk about my six favorite NPM packages. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day.